Of course, it's not much use making a stunning professional looking video if no one's going to see it. The right video marketing strategy means thinking about creating professional looking videos and then sharing them with your target audience. The way that you do this is going to depend on your resources, the type of video that you've created and the nature of your business. So let's take a look at the various different options available to you for getting your video seen by the right people. When it comes to video sharing, one name that springs to mind is YouTube. And YouTube is the single biggest video sharing platform out there, bar none. In fact, it's so big that it's the second largest search engine of any kind behind Google, bigger even than Bing or Yahoo. If you want to get your videos seen by the maximum number of people, then uploading your videos to YouTube is a great strategy. At the same time, this will allow you to build a list of subscribers who will be more likely to see subsequent videos as you upload them, and this will give you a number of flexible options, enabling you to embed your YouTube videos elsewhere, for example. It's integrated with Google+, and YouTube pages that show up on Google SERPs, now that's search engine ranking pages, will have a thumbnail next to them which greatly increases the click-through rate. YouTube even has its own built-in video editor which you can access by logging into your YouTube account and then going youtube.com forward slash editor. And they also have free music you can use and many other options like annotations and a whole lot more. YouTube is the number one place that people go to when they're looking for video content. So if your video is part of a video series, a vlog, or it's designed as entertainment that you hope is going to go viral, then it belongs on YouTube. Then there's Vimeo, and Vimeo is the number one competition to YouTube. And although it isn't quite as big, it does have some advantages. Firstly, Vimeo is generally considered slightly more professional in that the videos that get uploaded to it are made by enthusiasts and are generally better quality. You know, there's far fewer cat videos or kids reviewing their favorite games. And this is useful from a marketing perspective because it can help to give you a more professional impression by association. And secondly, the fact that Vimeo is smaller can also be considered a good thing. Basically, it means there's less competition. Here the question is whether you want to be a small fish in a big pond, or the opposite. Vimeo gets around 70 million monthly visitors, so it's still worth your time. Ultimately, if you have the resources, it can be useful to market yourself on both channels. And then there's Vine. Vine is a service from Twitter where users upload six second videos. From the viewer's perspective, this enables scrolling through large amounts of dynamic content and it tends to encourage very creative videos. And this is the perfect platform for stop motion video or something else to that effect that's currently very popular. From a business sense, it also offers a good return on investment as it's very easy and cheap to make a six second video compared to a 10 minute one. If you have a website or a blog of your own, which you definitely should do, then you can also use your videos by embedding them here alongside your other content. Which pages you use your videos on and how they relate to your content is gonna depend on the type of video, the type of website, and the type of business that you have. Now, here are a few common options. The very first page you should consider having a video on is your home page. And if you're a small business and your website is entirely about promoting and selling your product, then it's important that you make sure that any visitors who land on your website learn instantly what it is that you're selling and how it works. Having a video right on your home page is a great way to do this. So, for instance, if you have an EPOS system, you know, an, an electronic point of sale, which is essentially a digital cash register, then you might want to incorporate a video right on your home page showing your visitors what an EPOS is and how it will benefit them, as well as what sets your option apart from the rest. And this will work very well with an animated video. 
A landing page is a page on a website designed entirely with the purpose of selling products. And this will consist of persuasive text with no distractions and a big buy or order button at the bottom. The whole objective here is to sell and a video can help you do this. Often these pages will be used by affiliate marketers, you know, these are people who make a commission on selling somebody else's product, as well as bloggers with informational products. Either way, you can use a video featuring yourself or another PowerPoint style video and you use it to really sell your value proposition. And it's quite common on these pages to put your videos on autoplay so that they start the minute somebody lands there. If you're running a blog, then you can use a video series or a vlog to populate those posts. If you're trying to market a blog, then having a YouTube channel that can work with that synergistically is a very effective strategy. Likewise, you should make sure that your YouTube videos are linking back to your blog and if your YouTube channel is popular, then this is a great way to actually increase your page rank and this is the perceived authority that your site has in the eyes of Google. If you have a WordPress site or a blog then another place to put your YouTube video is in a widget in one of the side menus. And you can do this with a plugin that will then allow people to see your videos no matter which one of your pages they land on. And this is a very good way to quickly increase the views of your YouTube videos if you have a popular blog. Social media marketing and video marketing are two more forms of web marketing that go together very well. It's actually possible to publish your videos directly to Facebook, Google Plus and other social media sites. Or alternatively, you can have your videos hosted on YouTube and then post them that way. Finally, you can host your videos on your site or somewhere else entirely and then simply link to the video through social media. Social media is an incredibly powerful tool for helping you gain more exposure for your video and this is especially true when it comes to videos that have been designed specifically to be viral in nature. If you've made a viral video and it isn't on Facebook then you're severely neutering its potential power. Of course, there are, once again, many more options when it comes to hosting and distributing your videos, and it can be used in a variety of ways and in conjunction with multiple other marketing strategies. One less obvious example of a way to use video marketing, for example, is to help with a Kickstarter campaign. Kickstarter, which you can find here at kickstarter.com, is a crowdfunding site where you can promote an idea for a new product or service and gain financial backing from the general public. And an effective video selling the virtues of your plan is undoubtedly the single most important aspect in determining your success or failure here. You can also link to videos from email marketing campaigns or you can use your emails to increase the value for your existing customers. Pat Flynn of SmartPassiveIncome.com and there we go, that's him there. He recommends sending your customers to a tailor-made video thanking them personally for ordering your products as a great way to demonstrate that you care about providing value and to help ensure that they have a positive experience with you. Of course, you can also go down the more conventional advertising route by creating videos and having them play on the content created by other publishers. And there are a number of different ways that you can accomplish this. If you link your AdWords account with your YouTube account, for instance, then you can have your videos play at the start of their videos. Now this system uses the pay-per-view system whereby you only pay if a user watches your video to the end. Now you might have noticed when you watch a YouTube video that the video will often be preceded by a short ad that you can click to skip after 5 seconds. This is where your video will go if you choose to go down this route, but you only pay if the viewer doesn't click skip. And this means that potentially you can increase your brand awareness to a large degree without spending very much money. 
you also get to pick how much you pay per view but it's important to remember here that it's a bidding system used and that means that the more you pay the more often your video will show now normally the typical spend is between 10 and 23 cents this system also allows you to choose where your ads will show up by location and what types of videos they'll show on. And this is very useful for ensuring that you're promoting yourself to a targeted audience that is within your target demographic. So if you have a local business, then you need to ensure that only local residents are going to be seeing your content. And then there are other ad networks. When browsing the web, you might also have noticed that some websites have video ads embedded onto them. And if you'd like to go down that route, then you can use an ad network that will distribute your videos across tons of other sites and likely charge you per impression or per view. Popular choices include Brightroll, which you can find here at brightroll.com or spot exchange which is spotxchange.com then there's auditude which is a service run by adobe which you can find at adobe.com forward slash products forward slash auditude.html there's adotube which you can find at adotube.com and there are a whole lot of others as well and each has different terms and conditions and different advantages so you might want to consider browsing around a few of them in order to find the one that best suits you. Alternatively, if you find a website or a blog that you enjoy then you can simply pay them to display your video on their site. Now normally this will involve a set monthly rate which you'll negotiate but it means you'll be able to decide precisely where you want your video to go and precisely who gets to see it. This way you can choose a site that's right in your niche or industry and isn't a direct competitor and it's also one that you know has a large and highly receptive audience. The question though is whether or not it's worth it for you to pay to distribute your videos. Should you work on creating your own YouTube video and promoting it or should you pay to have your videos shown at the start of other videos that are already popular? Well, as a general rule, for most people, the better strategy is to invest time and energy into developing your own YouTube channel or blog. This way, you'll be able to control your relationship with the viewers and you'll be able to benefit from much longer term trust and authority building. Of course, this also takes longer to get results, so paying for an ad on YouTube can be a quick way to get an immediate boost. Likewise, if you're a large organization and you're more interested in increasing brand awareness, this can be a useful strategy, especially as you can get some free views if people don't watch all the way through. Lastly, if your videos have a very high conversion rate and you're getting a very clear return on all the traffic that you send to your site, then videos can be used to scale an existing business model. This might be useful for an e-commerce store, for instance, or a blogger selling a popular ebook. You'll notice that sixpackshortcuts.com uses a lot of YouTube advertising, which is because they make so much money from each visitor. Still though, it's usually better to build your own audience whenever possible. For most people, especially small businesses, that should be the focus and the priority. Depending on what you're selling and who you're selling it to, the platform you choose and the type of video you create will vary. For instance, PowerPoint style videos and animations are very popular for corporate B2B organizations because they remove the personal element and help maintain distance and a sense of professionalism. On the other hand, such content might be considered a little bland if you're a company selling a hip energy drink commercially. We've gone over a number of different types of videos and we've looked at the different methods available to you for getting the word out and spreading your video. Let's look at how each platform and each type of video can be combined to benefit various specific types of businesses. Now, 
If your video is an animation explaining how to use a business or service, then it's best distributed by being embedded in the home page of a business site. It's good for demonstrating a technical product and the sort of business that will be interested in this would be a B2B or a corporate business. A video explaining a range of topics relating to a specific niche or industry is best distributed via YouTube or embedded into blog posts and of course YouTube makes it very easy for you to do that. It's good for promoting an information product or a service and the type of business that would do this would be a small business or a blog. A PowerPoint style video with the professional voiceover talking about the merits of a product is best distributed by being embedded into a landing page and this works best for an informational product or an affiliate product and the type of business would be an affiliate marketer or a blog. Scroll down. A short stop motion animation showing the product in a creative way is best distributed on Vine or on Vimeo and this is good for showing people about clothing or accessories or other smaller commercial products and the sort of business that would be interested in this would be a small creative business. An event video is best distributed on YouTube and this is going to be more of a service or a more of a premium product and these are generally done by larger commercial businesses. Now a talk or presentation video is best distributed via YouTube or Vimeo or by social media and it's going to promote a service or an informational product or a business to business service and these are used mainly by larger organizations or consultants. Now a creative viral video will probably be best distributed via social media or YouTube or by embedding onto the site and these are used to promote commercial products or a blog and they're used by commercial businesses. A traditional advertisement well that can be distributed lots of different ways by YouTube, by social media, by Vimeo, by Vine they can be embedded into a web page or you can use paid advertising. Uh, they're good for commercial products and they're used by commercial businesses or e-commerce stores. A video tutorial is best distributed via YouTube or on the site and they're used mainly for technical products or software and that sort of thing and they're used by software companies and commercial businesses. Um, customer interviews or testimonials again they're best distributed via YouTube or on site and they're used for advertising services or premium products and by service providers and commercial businesses. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to give you a quick guide to YouTube marketing.